Hi babies, it's KP back again another video. So, hi, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Most definitely subscribe so that we can do more videos like this because I am on and popping off dropping these videos back to back. This summer is going to be the summer where I reach at least 5k subscribers or something like that we're on a mission for this summer so today if you haven't read the title which i'm hoping you did i'm gonna be telling a story time on how i got robbed on my birthday yes this is, is a true story no it is not clickbait i got robbed on my birthday <laughs> so without further ado we're just gonna go ahead and go right into this story time okay guys so my birthday my birthday is march 10th i'm a pisces and so I was with my friends um, all day, whatever, you know, we were celebrating, having a very chill day because I was in college, I was broke too. So I was like, damn, I can't really do much. Well, I wasn't broke, but I was all like, I want to use this money for something else. So I was like, I don't really want to do much to be honest. I was happy and content with what I was doing. You know, I was smoking that and, you know, doing my little thing, chilling with friends and like yada, yada, yada. And we decide to go to the club, basically. Now, particularly, I didn't get robbed on my birthday, but my birthday week, I got robbed. So we had decided that, you know, for my birthday week, cause I celebrate the whole week, cause I'm just that bitch. <laughs> oh That's true. <laughs> so we was like, okay, it was a Tuesday. We can't really do much. Half class to like the next day, you know. What the hell I'm gonna do? I can't get. I I can't do nothing, literally. So, nice. So this is what I decided to do. Tuesday I was gonna chill with some friends, smoke some weed, I was hanging with people that I don't usually hang with, but I hang with them, but not like close friend type shit. Thursday was gonna be the night that I went out with close friends or whatever, you know, and then enjoy the night. Fast forward, after my birthday, birthday is over, and you know, we're waiting for Thursday to go to the club. Now, at my college, in my area, they have this club that is for free on Thursdays for college students. And I'm like, oh, sh say less. I mean, it's not my birthday, but it's my birthday week, so therefore, we're gonna go and celebrate and say it's my birthday. So that's exactly what we did. Now let me tell you guys, now it was a very fun, enjoyable birthday that I had, one of the best, the best birthday that I've ever done so far, like it was really fun. Now that whole night <laughs> was so many wrongs. Now up to that day, we were chilling and stuff like that, you know, we did a little pre-game stuff. Not too, not too much though, we did, we just, you know, got a little up and popping before we went to the club. Cause we was like, you know, I wanna get amped up and stuff like that. Now, I'm gonna include a little picture right here, you know, me and my friend, my guys, I was a little off my- Stop it, get some help. My brain or whatever, not drugs, not, not even weed. I was just off cause I was drinking that night. And so, yes, I was drinking. Sorry, mother, if you're watching this. Um, anyway, Usually what me and my friends do when we go to the club is that we, you know, look out for each other and stuff like that, make sure no weird shit happens or anything like that. But like that particular night, we was like hyped as fuck because we was like, it's my birthday. Fuck everything. Fuck all the rules. We don't care. We're just going to do what the fuck we ought to do or whatever. And so we get there and it's a very cool collected club club basically and on thursdays it's really popping because you know it's a free night or whatever you know college students getting there free so of course there's gonna be more people there or whatever we uh get dressed or whatever you know we cleaned up and all that you know get our hair done okay my hair was not done i had an afro back then so i still had hair because you know i'm a bald-headed hoe now my hair wasn't done. I just had it in my afro. I didn't pull it back or anything like that. It looked nice before I left the fucking school building. But after the club, my shit was ugly. Ugly. It looked like a ball of hay. I'm not even gonna cap. But um, so we're at the club or whatever. And 
you know, we were having fun, stuff like that. You know, it took it took like an hour or two for the club to get popping, and as usual, or whatever. So when it finally did get on and popping, and we actually started dancing and shit like that, you know, surprisingly, I wasn't the only person there that had a birthday um, or were uh, celebrating their birthday right now. So it was also this girl. Her, uh, I'm not gonna say her name, but I'm just call her A. Her birthday uh, was coming up too. She was also, uh, she's also a Pisces. So we was kind of pretty celebrating for her too. But it wasn't that week. It was like the next week after. So we were all celebrating so with that. And the DJ was playing uh, a whole bunch of birthday songs and shit. And so my friend, let me say her name, Jasmine, her stupid self was like telling me like, it's her birthday. He was all, and the DJ was all like, oh yeah, this for all people, that's their birthday. Y'all gotta twerk, shake some ass or whatever, you know, get that little thing. <laughs> and usually I'm not a twerker. If you cannot tell, I am not a twerker. I am barely even a female, okay? What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? Just kidding, I am 100% a female. But, um, so I'm out on the floor doing my little thing, popping, locking, dropping, you know. <laughs> but let me tell you, so I brought my wallet. I made the mistake to bring my um my purse. It was what the fuck? It was like probably like this big or whatever. You know, it had my lanyard on it, included with my key card and my card to get back into the building when we get back to the school. So my key to my room was uh, on there and my, we call it a paw pass, but my paw pass was there too in that wallet, including my state ID, both of my credit cards, my chapstick, my lighter, like just everything that I deemed important to me was in there, including my change that I've collected. And I was like, I'm gonna uh, set on the table along with everybody else's stuff, like Jasmine and A's stuff and the C stuff was all on um, the table. And so all of our stuff was there. My stuff was sitting on top of their stuff. And it, I guess it looked the fattest, I'm not really sure, but tell me why throughout the whole night we was there. We was there up until like two in the morning. We was going back and forth to the table, whatever, because at first, you know, started off a little slow, like I said. So we was just, you know, going back and forth to the table. It's a two-story building, too. So we was going up and down the stairs. And, you know, the whole time, we kept checking to see if our stuff was there. Because there was pe also other people walking over there, too, where our stuff was at. And I'm looking, and I'm like, hold on, what are y'all doing over there, like? Y'all clearly see stuff sitting there, so why are you over there by our stuff right now? Like, why? I don't, I don't know. Please do explain yourself because, honey, we gonna have some problems if I see who stole my wallet. Like, I really wish y'all have seen who stole my wallet. But are um, you sure about that? My purse also kept falling on the floor, and it was a tall ass table. That table was tall as hell. Okay. I don't know how I kept falling on the floor, but it just somehow did, and it, it was just slipping off the floor, off the table, onto the floor, and I kept picking it up, coming back, picking it up. Jasmine was also coming back, picking it up, stuff like that, and I'm like, damn, this bitch falling, falling, okay. So I set it right in the middle, and this is like, now it's like a little hill going on or whatever with a whole bunch of other people's stuff, and my stuff is, you know, on top, you know, shining bright like a diamond, and I come back the last time before we you know leave the club or whatever now okay before we even get there let me rewind it back a few seconds so i you know because it was my birthday i was like i'm gonna have some fun so i was a little that and um okay i wasn't paying attention that much because i was but I was still aware of my surroundings or that. Like if somebody tried to come up to me and touch me, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna beat your ass, get away from me. But I wasn't watching for my damn wallet. I had stopped watching for my wallet. At some point throughout the night, I don't remember the time. I'm so mad that I did, but I did. I made that mistake and I'm so upset. I get back to the fucking table, my wallet gone. Ah! Got him! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Y'all, somebody fucking swipe my wallet. I didn't say swiping no swiper in enough time, I nigga. Like, <laughs> my shit was gone. Like, gone, gone. Like, it's dead ass. Like, you can't find that hoe. 
after I seen those gone, I was like, damn, holy shit. Uh, that has important stuff in there, bro. I don't know what to do. So literally, okay, since I was drunk, basically, just some of that. I wasn't even that drunk, okay? I had one beer, literally, just one beer. And I was like, how in the hell did somebody manage to get my bright ass khaki purse with pink flowers on it, hot pink flowers on it? Like, I don't understand how somebody managed to take it. But I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna figure this out somehow. So I was looking for it. I was asking the security guard. Um, and it was coming about two in the morning when I was still looking for it and stuff like that. Cause you know, we was getting ready to leave. And I'm like, I can't find my wallet. We ain't leave without my wallet. I left without my wallet. <laughs> That's stupid. Use your common sense. I left without my wallet because the security guard was getting on her ass and was all like, yo, like, y'all got to leave. We finna close. And I'm like, mm, my wallet. So I told the security guard, I was all like, yo, like, I can't find my wallet. And I, I need my wallet. Like, that, that has valuable things in there. I I need it. I need it. Literally. Anyway, what the f*** am I doing? Oh, God. Okay, so... So he lets us stay for a little longer, but I was like, shit. I don't know what the fuck to do. So I ended up deciding to just go ahead and leave and possibly try to um, find where, like look at a car or something like that, or like trace my steps, you know, ask the security guard. Cause it was also, our tables right here, security guards right there, dead eye. <laughs> So I don't understand how my wallet got stolen. Like, baby girl, you seen us come to that table, set our all of our stuff down. You seen other people come to that table. So you should have seen somebody take my fucking wallet. I don't know how, but they, I guess they didn't or whatever. So I end up, we end up going to the after party. Okay, we went to the after party without my wallet. Yes, very dumb mistake. I know, but <laughs> I was not saying there. So I was like, all right guys, let's go. We end up uh, popping up at the after party, okay? Y'all, that shit was lame as hell. I'm not even gonna lie. It was just J and A there and we were in there. And it was this, uh, this dude from the party cause you know, we were dancing on him and stuff like that, having fun and stuff, you know? That was a very crazy night. But my wallet got stolen. I got robbed on my birthday night. <laughs> Hella upset. I was so upset about that. Like, I literally wanted to cry because I was like, damn, I stayed IDs in there. Like, do I have to go to like the fucking uh, driver's license place or whatever and order a whole new ID and wait all day long for a new fucking ID? I was like, I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna just find some stuff out, see if I can order a new ID or whatever. I ended up doing it. I have a new ID or coming in right now, but um, anywho. So we were there, whatever, and uh, you know, I was telling her, I was all like, damn, my wallet's gone. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to get in the building or whatever. And um, so Jasmine was standing at her cousin's house. Caroline was going to her room to sleep, but she has a roommate, so I couldn't, you know, sleep in there or whatever. So Jasmine was all like, oh yeah, you can sleep in my room until, you know, we figure something out or whatever. Now, to get a new key for your room, $40. To get a new Paw Pass, $10. I said, oh no, baby, I'm not spending my money on that. Not doing it. <laughs> no. Fucks no. So, y'all, my phone's on 5%. Let me just speed this up a little bit faster. Okay, so, basically, you know, we get back or whatever. We're still acting a damn fool, but everybody's tired. It's about probably 3, 4 in the morning, I, I think. I don't really remember because that night was, like, so much fun. It was, like, honestly a blur. And, you know get back you know i end up going to bed and uh going to sleep in the friend's room or whatever you know and that's how i ended my night still in my party clothes sleep in my friend's room because your girl got robbed literally so like i said it wasn't clickbait i actually got robbed that night but um yeah that's it for that story time i would do some more story times uh i be in the future, guaranteed, most likely, yeah. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Like, seriously, guys, subscribe. Like, give me the 1K subscribers. Seriously. 
it it would mean so much to me guys if it actually honestly happened but um yeah that's the story time how i got robbed on my birthday until next time guys kp